We're back talking about plastic surgery. It seems to be a bit of an obsession in this country. Just this morning, the woman who holds the world's record for plastic surgeries was on Good Morning America talking about her 52 procedures. Watch. Cindy Jackson has had $100,000 worth of cuts, pulls, peels, jabs, and a whole lot of whatever that is. It's not just operations. I mean, I've had 14 full-scale operations with anesthetic, only 14, but I've had Botox, my upper and lower eyes done twice, five facelifts. Here to talk about all these uh, plastic surgeries is Dr. Robert Singer, a board-certified plastic surgeon. Uh, doctor, uh, welcome to the show first, Ed. But, you know, we just, Thank spoke, you. we just spoke to a woman who can't close her eyes after plastic surgery. What do you think of the surgeon? Well, I don't know enough about the case. I don't know the surgeon. But I can tell you that uh, any surgery, uh, and I feel very badly for the, for the woman who was on, but any surgery has risks. Uh, the vast majority of patients who have cosmetic surgery uh, and certainly the vast majority who have eyelid surgery don't have complications. They're generally happy with the result. But the patients have to understand that there are risks as well as benefits. And the risks, uh, it, even though the percentage of complications may be low, if you're one of those who has the complication, it's 100% for you. That's so you right. need to know both the complications as well as the benefits and be fully informed right. before you undergo these procedures. Okay, let's talk about this woman who had 52 uh, plastic surgeries. She was on Good Morning America. It's a world record, supposedly, although I, I don't know, maybe, maybe there's somebody in another part of the world that's had more, but 52, I mean, that's unbelievable. Why would doctors say yes to so many surgeries? Shouldn't the doctor say, come on, that's enough? Well, somebody who has had that many surgeries, that's a red flag for most doctors. Most ethical plastic surgeons evaluate patients' motivation, motivate what they've had done, their general health. And, you know, it's not infrequent that we say, no, you shouldn't do this. This may not be in your best interest. Uh -huh. But some patients can be very convincing of what they want, a specific area, and it may improve that area. But somebody who's had that many surgical procedures Really, they need treatment, but surgery is not the answer for that. Somebody who comes in and wants to look like someone else, uh, that, that's an unrealistic expectation, and that patient will never be ultimately happy with the surgery. Okay. So good I, ethical surgeons evaluate patients that okay, way. Okay, I only have a few seconds left, but where, what's the line that plastic surgeons will not cross? What is it? Well, I, I think that depends on... Uh, the evaluation once you sit in consultation with the patient knowing what they want is it age appropriate are they sensible is their motivation correct do they have the proper medical background to do that and what are the specific risks and do they understand those risks realize it's not clay it's not it's not like drywall it's human tissue it's not totally predictable right. and remember complications can occur in any surgery cardiac orthopedic they're very unlikely in aesthetic surgery with a board-trained plastic surgeon by the American Board of Plastic Surgery, but they still can happen. Okay. Thanks very much, Doctor. We'll be right back. Thank you. Coming up next on The Joy Behar Show, from 30 Rock actor Alec Baldwin, plus Joy's View co-host Sherry Shepard pays a visit. 95% of all Americans aren't getting enough whole grain. 